Total Eclipse of the Harvest Moon, presented by Science at NASA. In the days before light bulbs, farmers relied on moonlight to help them harvest their crops. After sundown, moonlight became an essential part of farming, and thus the harvest moon was born. According to folklore, the harvest moon is the full moon that falls closest to the autumnal equinox, the hectic beginning of northern autumn. In 2015, the moon is full on September, less than a week after the equinox of September 23rd. The coincidence sets the stage for a nice display of harvest moonlight. But the moon is this not year's like the others. others. It's going to be eclipsed. On the night of September 27th and into the, the full moon will glide through the shadow of Earth turning the harvest moon a golden red color akin to autumn leaves. The action begins at 9.07 p.m. Eastern Time first enters the amber core of Earth's shadow. For the next 3 hours and 18 minutes, Earth's shadow will move across the lunar disk. begins at 10.11 p.m. Eastern Time. That's when the moon is completely enveloped by the shadow of our planet. Totality lasts for an hour and 12 minutes, so there is plenty of time to soak up the suddenly red moonlight. The reason the moon turns red may be found on the surface of the moon itself. Using your imagination, fly to the moon and stand inside a dusty lunar crater. Your head okay. hangs Earth, night Over. side facing you, completely hiding the sun behind it. The eclipse is underway. You might suppose that the Earth overhead would be completely dark. After all, you're looking at the night side of our planet. Instead, something amazing happens. When the Sun is located directly behind Earth, the rim of the planet seems to catch fire. The darkened terrestrial disk is ringed by every sunrise and every sunset in the world, all at once. This light filters into the heart of Earth's shadow, suffusing it with a coppery glow. Back on Earth, the shadowed moon becomes a great red orb. One more thing. The full moon of September 28th occurs near the perigee of the moon's orbit. That is, the point closest to Earth. This makes the harvest moon a supermoon. The super harvest moon eclipse will be visible from the Americas, Europe, and Africa. It brings an end to a remarkable series of four consecutive total lunar eclipses visible from North America, a so-called tetrad. Perhaps the heavens have saved the best for last. If you live in the eclipse zone, mark your calendar for September 27th to 28th and enjoy the show. For more beautiful sights in the night sky, stay tuned to science.nasa.gov. Super Blood Blue Moon Eclipse in the Sign of Leo, 
Let's first break down the meaning of the name of this super blood blue moon eclipse. Super a super moon happens when the full moon is closest to Earth. This lunar eclipse is going to be nice and close to Earth, which means visibility will be high and its energetic effects will be strong. Blood a blood moon is just another name for a total lunar eclipse. This is because a total eclipse gives the moon a reddish glow. Blood moons are quite rare, and we haven't had one since 2014. Blue a blue moon is the second full moon of the month. Whenever there are two full moons in a month, the second is referred to as a blue moon. This is also an extremely rare occurrence and makes this eclipse particularly significant. Phew. Just to put it in the context, last time we experienced a super blood blue moon eclipse was 150 years ago. Whenever we have a rare celestial event such as this, we feel the energy strongly and it has the potential to cause huge ripples and waves in our lives. Eclipses always come in cycles, and this super blood blue moon eclipse is linked to the eclipses back in February and August of 2017. This means that whatever lessons or themes were brewing for you around that time are now coming to an end, and you will be able to bring closure and resolution to those energies. Think back to what was stirring for you especially during the total solar eclipse that happened on August 21, 2017. It is likely that whatever the August 2017 total solar eclipse brought into your life is now being wrapped up, resolved and put and back to what was stirring for you. Pay attention to what was unfolding on a spiritual and emotional level, not just on a physical or external one. 2017 was a transformative year for a lot of people, and perhaps the months since the August total solar eclipse have allowed things to move in a new direction for you. The January super blood blue moon eclipse is not only going to help bring resolution and closure to the last half of 2017, it is also going to open and activate a new energy that we are all going to be working with until the next round of eclipses in July and August 2018. Eclipses often bring turning points in our lives, they are often an instigator for change and illuminate areas of our lives that need attention. The moon represents our emotions and how we feel safe and secure as we move through the world. During an eclipse, our sense of security and comfort is often shaken in some way, and we are given the opportunity to really look within and discover our fears, hopes, dreams and the truth. Seeing as this blood blue moon eclipse falls in the fire sign of Leo, it is really going to be guiding us to take charge of our lives and to step into that role of being the king or queen of our own jungle. As this is full moon energy, most of the action we are going to have to take will include clearing things out, doing away with the past and letting things go. Even though the fiery Leo energy will want us to act, there is also a need to retreat and to clear things from within first. In fact, hidden truths and buried emotions are likely to stir around eclipse time, and you may need to let them know the best course of action. Eclipses are always emotionally supercharged and this is even more so. This eclipse is likely to increase your sensitivity and bring up heated emotions. Old wounds from the past may resurface, and you may find yourself digging through some muck in order to make sense of the things around you. If things get intense, or your sense of security is shaken up under the presence of this eclipse, remember that this is just so you can make some positive changes in your life. You always have an inner power and inner strength, and tuning into lion or lioness energy and finding your pride is really going to help you. When you feel safe and secure from within it gives you the confidence to express your truth, be who you are and to go after your dreams. This eclipse is going to be helping you find your way find through this. inner strength so you can feel confident in who you are and what you are here to do. If you allow the energy of this blood blue moon eclipse to filter into your life and you embrace the changes and inspirations that it brings, you will really be given a huge push to create a new state of being for yourself. A state of being where you can feel confident, loved and supported by yourself and by the world around you. A state of being where you have the confidence to be yourself to achieve this state of being, 
You have to connect with your heart center and tune into that intuitive voice of wisdom. This total lunar eclipse carries a strong feminine energy and will really help you to connect to that intuitive, softer heart-centered place we all have inside. In fact, the strong feminine energy around this lunar eclipse is likely to bring about global changes for women as well. Under the presence of this eclipse, we may experience a rise up of feminine power and a focus on equal rights for women. The Super Blood Blue Moon Eclipse is definitely a special celestial event that will really shape the direction and energy of the year ahead. The best thing to do is sit back, surrender and join the universal flow. This is an intense eclipse and it is likely that you will be feeling its effects for a few weeks until the energy settles. Just be gentle with yourself and observe any themes, issues or patterns that emerge. If something starts slipping away from your life, or if something is abruptly ended around eclipse time, trust that it is meant to be, and allow things to take their natural course. The January 31st eclipse is a potent one, and there is no doubt that it will put you where you need to be and beckon you to a higher state of consciousness. I think um, part of it is that there's just a, a huge amount of interest in supermoons at the moment. I mean, there's just, it seems like there's a lot of interest in the full moon, although it could just be a phase. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I stole that as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's just a renewed sort of interest in, in moon watching, and, and we did have um, you know some really unusually large supermoons uh, at the end of last year and the beginning of this year as well, particularly the one earlier what this month. What we sort month. of forget is that everyone can see the moon. It's the it's the starting point for most people in astronomy and, and generally, and because of that, it's affected every single culture across the whole planet. And sort of from the, the Indians to the Chinese, the British, everyone's got their own ideas about the moon. But it's not just about the human impact, it's the, the nature as well. There's some great footage of coral spawning during full moons and so many animals that dictate their lives to We've the We've got a second full moon, moon this well. month. We actually have what we call a blue moon. Uh, it's more of a kind of modern colloquialism. The definition sort of changed in the 20th century. But the blue moon now is generally accepted to be the second full moon in the month. And because right. both of January's moons are super moons, technically speaking, then uh, it's quite an exciting month. Um, and the moon, um, you know, that this is what uh, a lot of what the program talks about. It is, it is really can affect us in lots of interesting ways, can't it? Yeah, definitely. I think. Mm -hmm.